Hey everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll show you how to get your own custom skin in Minecraft. Alright, so we're obviously going to download this texture pack since it's the only way to get custom capes without using a resource pack. Got it? Don't worry though, you won't need to activate any cheats or anything to use it. What we're going to do now is click on SD to download. Okay, we'll click on the dot .mac pack file and confirm that we're not a robot. It'll tell us to wait, so we'll do that. Then we're going to click on get download. We'll select the dot .mac pack file and it will start downloading. Got that? Now, what we'll do is convert the .mac pack file into a zip file. Right? Then we'll open the .zip file, go to the sub packs folder, and there we'll see all the capes that are available to us. Okay? Well, all the capes they've included for us. We could learn to program. If you know how to program, you can add it to your own layer. But what we're going to do now is modify an existing one, like this AFK one, which is quite ugly. So, we'll open the one we want to change. AFK Textures Entity and then Custom PNG. What we're going to do is open the custom PNG and click on edit image. Okay, the best thing to do would be to extract the custom PNG. All right, let's do it. We extract the custom PNG, which we have here. And now what we're going to do is right click and edit. Got it. So I'm going to assume I want to edit this layer. I'm going to do a simple version using paint, for example, a Spanish flag. So we're going to paint the layer with all the colors, And I'll basically explain a bit about what each part is. Oops, if you go outside the lines, please use T trial Z. Otherwise, we'll have a problem. So, Basically, this part here, this stick, is the bottom part of the layer. So we wouldn't paint this. Now let's put the little flag here. Oops, not too much. Let's go this way. Let's grab this now. We do it like this, perfect. And we take the flag and do, for example, like this. And we do it like this. Grab the bucket and that's it. Okay. Then we click save. It has been saved. Now let's check that it's here when we open it. Perfect. And now what we'll do is drag this custom right here. I'm going to say yes. Okay. And if we now open the custom, it's the flag of Spain. So, all right, now we've done this. Will you change the zip extension back to an MC pack extension? MC pack extension. And now we open the MC pack file. Then Minecraft Bedrock should be able to import it. There it is, the custom case doesn't appear at the moment. There it is, we activate it. And once we've activated it, what we need to do is go back to the settings section. And as you can see, the texture pack itself already comes with a few cake. It comes with 50 custom cake. But now what we're going to do is click on extend and look for the AFK option throughout this entire area. I'm telling you, it's right here at the very end. We'll scroll back and now we'll definitely see the Spanish flag. It's that simple. You can do this with all the layers, but remember that this layer will only be visible to you. When you're playing in a world, only you and those who have the same resource pack with the selected layer will be able to see it. And that concludes the tutorial. If you don't want to customize your own cape, you always have 50 more. No problem at all. Not much else to say. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in future videos. Bye bye.